What's going on everybody? Girl Chris Star is back with an episode of I Hate That Shit. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while. But I figured today I'll dedicate this to my New Yorkers, my fellow New Yorkers. You're going to bond with me right now, okay? Okay, we're going to be here. You're going to connect with me on this episode. Because there's nothing worse than this when you're riding the train. Good old New York City transit systems. So I just got off the train, you know, I just got home, and um, this happened to me. You know, there's nothing worse than when you're in a rush or you're late to work and, you know, you're going to school or something. There's nothing worse than some stupid-ass person getting on the train knowing that they're sick. Why would you do that? Why? Do you not read the little signs? You know how it says, there's a sign that says, do not lean on door, do not hold doors. Well, stupid. There's also another sign that says, if you're not feeling well, don't board the train. And do you know why they tell your ass not to board the train? Because when you freaking pass out, we have to sit there and wait for your ass to get off the freaking train. Do I want to wait for you? I don't want to wait for you. I hate that shit. If you don't feel good, don't get on the train. <coughs> what the f Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be held to the next station momentarily due to a sick passenger. Aw, oh, hell no. Thank you for your patience. Get him off the train. And, and when they do get sick, this is what I understand. I think I'll send this, this suggestion to the MTA and see what they say. Is somebody sick on the train? Fine. I can understand delaying the train for the first 10 minutes, right? What's going to happen in those 10 minutes, Christine? I'll tell you right now. Those 10 minutes will be dedicated to picking the person up, making sure they're alert, standing them up and removing them off the train and sitting them on a bench. Then the doors can close and then we can get the hell out of there. I don't think we need to wait for them till the cops get there and the paramedics. Sit their ass on the bench, leave them with an employee, a freaking MTA worker, and let them wait. Why do we all have to wait? Why do all of us on the train that are late have to wait? Not only were we late because of ourselves probably, but now we're extra late because your ass decided you wanted to get drunk the night before and throw up all over the train. Or you had the, the flu and you decided to be a trooper and go traveling anyway. To whatever the reason is that your sick ass, your sickly ass is on the train. Whatever reason, I don't care. It doesn't matter. You shouldn't have got on. You shouldn't have got on. Feeling a little faint? Don't get on the train. Peace.